For this crazy patch bauble, I'll be using wash away stabilizer, floating cutaway on top. I'm using a 4x4 hoop today, some threads, tape, ribbon, scissors, cotton batting, and a selection of uh, scraps uh, from my scrap box. As always, I'm going to start off by hooping my wash away stabilizer. And I'm going to cut a piece of cutaway just to float over the top. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on just so that it doesn't slide around while I'm stitching the first round of stitching. So I now pop that in my hoop and I'll stitch round number one which is the outline. I've got my piece of ribbon and I'm going to place it here so that I'll be able to hang it and I'm going to um, hold that in place with a piece of tape. And then I'm going to place my batting over the top here. And I'll pop that back in my machine and stitch round number two, which will hold that all together and give me my placement lines for the crazy patch um, pieces. The first area that we're going to cover with fabric is this one here, the top of the bauble. I'm just going to trim this little thread off in the way. Okay, so I'm going to place my fabric over the outline of the top of the bauble like that. Pop it in my machine and stitch round number three. I'm going to cut away the excess fabric along here next. Like so. And now I'm going to add my first, my second, sorry, fabric below here. I'm just putting it upright so that the bauble's upright so that I can get the fabric round the right way because it's got a an actual direction to this one, believe it or not. Okay, I'm just going to pop a piece of tape to hold it in place while it stitches. I'm now going to pop that in my machine and stitch round number four, which will hold it down. I'm now going to trim off the excess fabric around here. The next area to place your fabric is this side. And I'm going to take that in place as I did previously. down a little bit. Okay. I'm now going to pop that back in my machine and stitch round number five. And as I did for the first part, I'm going to trim away the excess here as well. And then I'm going to lay my uh, fourth piece of fabric down next. And that's going to fit there just nicely. 
These are great little projects for scrap busting. I'm now going to pop that back in my machine and stitch round number six. And once more, I'm going to trim away the excess fabric. I'm now going to pop that back in my machine and stitch round number seven, which will do the zigzagging along the raw edges in the center of the bauble. I forgot to trim off this little piece here of excess fabric so I've although I've already stitched the zigzag in it doesn't matter because I can go over it again so all I'm going to do now is restitch round number seven which will just go over what's already been done and across here the next rounds are the quilting rounds so it's going to start off with the top one and that's round number eight and number nine is going to quilt this area here and round number ten which is going to do along here and now round number eleven which is going to quilt this last area here Next I'm going to stitch round number 12 which is the decorative stitching along the join. And round number 13. Next is round number 14 and that's going to stitch the word Merry. And now the word Christmas with round number 15. So now all the front stitched, I'm going to turn my hoop over and I'm going to place my backing fabric over the outline of the bauble and I'm going to stick it down with some tape so that it doesn't move. So now I can pop that back in my machine and stitch round number 16 which is going to join the backing fabric to the hoop. Now that that's attached, I'm going to trim up all the excess fabric, batting and cutaway stabiliser. I'm going to start from the back so that it doesn't get forgotten. Okay, and now for the front. And I'm going to cut away the um, cutaway stabiliser at the same time as the batting. I need to be careful here because my ribbon is um, attached. And I've done it. I've cut it. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll fix it in a minute. A bit difficult seeing what you're doing with the camera under your nose. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that over and tape it in position so that when the zigzag line is done it will reattach it and after that you won't see it anyway because of the satin stitch going over the top so I'm just going to take that now over a little bit and a little bit there and that will attach it again so now I'm going to pop that back in my machine and stitch round number 17 which is the zigzag stitching all round the edge. 
Okay, so now that's stitched back on, I can remove the tape here and I can trim it back to the stitch line there. Like so. I'm going to leave that one on because it keeps it out of the way and keeps it out of mischief. And it's always a good time when you've done your zigzag stitching just to check that you haven't got any fabric poking out the side. And if you have, just trim it back. I think that's good. Okay, I'm now going to pop that back in my machine and I'm going to stitch round number 18, which is a satin stitch around the bauble. Now I'm going to stitch round number 19, which is going to do the satin stitch around the top of the bauble. I'm now going to free this from the hoop. Now, just be careful of your uh, loop. And it's still attached. <laughs> okay. Now that's out, out of the hoop, I'm going to remove the um, excess stabilizer excuse me stabilizer stabilizer that's around the edge and I'm just going to use some water and a cotton bud and there it is finished I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of any new videos as they're published. And thank you very much for joining me. Mm -hmm.